1. Nepal-India border dispute, 2020. 2. Introduction, Nepal is an independent and sovereign country since time immemorial. The boundary of Nepal is surrounded by India in the east, west, and south. On the north, there is China's Tibetan Autonomous Region, Ta. Boundaries of Nepal have been shifted time and often in the historical period. In 1806, Nepal's territory was elongated from Atista River on the east to Kangra Fort on the west. Similarly, it was extended up to the confluence of Gandak and Ganges rivers to the south during British India. It was called the Greater Nepal. In 1809, the border was retreated back to Sutlej River in the west. After Anglo Gorkha War, 1814 to 15, Nepal's boundary was shrunk from Mechi in the east to Mahakli on the west in March 1816. The Shugorlai Treaty was signed in 1816 to end the Anglo-Gorkha War and establish peace between Nepal and British East India Company. The Shugorlai Treaty made Nepal loose the land from the Mechi to Tista in the east and from the Mahakli to Satalaj in the west and from Chiorange to Plain Terai in the south. The defeat fixed the River Kali as the border in the west and the River Mechi in the east on the hilly regions whereas there are border pillars, Janj pillars on the southern plains, probably, being dissatisfied with the treaty, it was not signed by the then king and prime minister from Nepal side, a representative of Nepal signed it. Nepal was not happy with the treaty and probably British East India Company realized this dissatisfaction and in December 11, 1816 the East Indian Company returned some snatched land from the Shugorlai Treaty of Eastern Terai to Nepal. Similarly, when Junga Bahadurana helped to British people in Soldiers' Revolution, then, in turn the British company, being happy, returned the Western Terai, known as New Nation the district Sarbank, Bardia, Kailali and Kanchapa, to Nepal in November 1, 1868 as a supplementary boundary treaty. After this treaty, the present border of Nepal has been retained. 3. Border Dispute if there is no clear borderline, no interpretation regarding borderline agreement treaty, and cold relationship between the two countries, it is called as border dispute. The border dispute means the dispute between the two countries about the imaginative borderlines. There can be many reasons to have border problem, for example, a policy of bringing historical logic and illogic regarding the border territory b policy of spreading propaganda c if there is mines water sources and grazing land d places where it was regarded important from strategic arrangement perspective such as in the forts mountain pass and main business path however the border between Nepal India is clear. River Kali is the border in the west and the river Mechi in the east on the hilly regions whereas there are border pillars, Janj pillars, on the southern plains. Still, there are conflicts, disputes, encroachments, and cross-holding occupations in 71 places and spots in present time with India. 4. Source of the Kali River Limpiadhura, Lipilek, and Kalapani. There are conflicts disputes, encroachments, and cross-holding occupations in 71 places and spots in present time with India. In this case study, however, we'll focus only on the dispute on source of the Kali River Limpiadhura, Lipilek, and Kalapani. British India after the Shugorlai Treaty and also India after the independence realized the importance of the Gunji Kuti area, Lipilek Pass and Kalapani and made the unilateral cartographic manipulation on the northwest border of Nepal. It is found that the encroachment of about 400 square kilometers land of Nepal contravened the spirit of the Shugorlai Treaty. The publication of its political map by India in November 2019 that shows the Nepalese land in the far western part of the country Limpiadhura, Lipilek, and Kalapani, as its territory has once again brought back to the boundary encroachment of Nepal in the area east of the Kali, Mahakli River, Sarada River. The boundary between the two countries as per the Treaty of Shugorlai 1816, by the southern neighbour since the time of British India into four, the ongoing territorial issue between Nepal and India involving some 400 square kilometres sovereign land of Nepal on the northwest border, especially the source of the Mahakli River, in fact, 
dates back to the Shugorlai Treaty of 1816 signed between the East India Company of Great Britain and Nepal. It may be added that India has recently, 2019, published its new political map showing the said amount of Nepali land within her territory when her government had, time and again, admitted that the upper reaches of Kali are disputed. This paper is digging out the cartographic aggression of India focused on the issues related to the encroachment on the northwest border of Nepal. Nepal is a landlocked country located between India and the Tibetan Autonomous Region of China. It is located between 26 degrees 22 to 30 degrees 27 north latitudes and 80 degrees 04 to 88 degrees 12 east longitudes and extends about 800 km east-west and 150 to 250 km north-south with an area of 147,181 square kilometers, figure 1. See figure 1, 5. Short review, in the latter half of the 18th century King Prithvi Naran Shah, the ruler, 1768 to 1775, of the Kingdom of Gorkha formed a unified country of Nepal by conquering several independent states. His successors extended its territory up to Kangra to the west including the Kimaon and Garhwal and up to Testa, Sikkim in the east. In India, the East India British Company was expanding its territory. In 1814 East India British Company declared the war with Nepal. The war went on for nearly two years. Nepali warriors fought bravely and resisted the English attack in many places. Bhimsan Thapa had expected help from Punjab, Gwilyar, and Maratha but in vain. So, Nepal was compelled to sign the Shugorlai Treaty in 1816 to end the Anglo-Gorkha War. Anglo-Nepal War, 1814-15. When the war between the two countries was going on, Francis Rawdon Hastings, 1st Marquis of Hastings, 2nd Lord Moi, the Governor-General of India had sent a secret letter to the Secret Committee of the East India Company, London on June 1, 1815, suggesting the Kali River to be the eastern boundary of East India with Nepal. Cox. 1824. The defeat of Nepal in the war, 1814-15, with the British, Nepal was compelled to sign the Treaty of Sugarlai in 1816 which shrunk Nepal's territory to the current shape. Article 5 of the Sugarlai Treaty between the East India Company and Nepal states that, the Raja of Nepal renounces for himself, his heirs, and successors. All claim to or connection with the countries lying to the west of the river Kali and engages never to have any concern with those countries or the inhabitants thereof. The Treaty of Shugarlai, in particular, had the following consequences. A. Nepal lost one third of the total land to the company. B. Nepal lost the cold areas like Kimaon, Garhul, Nainital, and Darjeeling. C. The Indian ambassadors to Nepal interfered in the internal affairs of Nepal in the face of opposition made from time to time by the governor generals. D. Politics of conspiracy in the palace played their roles. E. Nepalese entry into the British army was on the rise. But later on, Nepal was able to get back some of her southern plain lands in two phases that is a first return of the Eastern Terai on the 11th of December 1816, and second return of four districts of Bank, Bardia, Kailali, and Kanchinpur of Western Terai on November 1, 1860. The British government signed a treaty of friendship in 1923 with Nepal. Nepal established diplomatic relations with would-be independent India on the 17th of June 1947 and a friendship treaty in 1950 with independent India. Nepal established diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China on the 1st of August 1955 and signed the Treaty of Peace and Friendship in 1960. Nepal joined the United Nations on the 14th of December 1955. 6. Evolution of cartographic aggression by India. Since the signing of the treaty in 1816, several maps were published by the British East India Company and by the Government of India, some of them found showing the fictitious entry to the source of the Kali River. After India got independence, both Nepal and India signed a peace and friendship treaty in 1950 which states that the two governments agree mutually to acknowledge and respect the complete sovereignty, territorial integrity, 
and independence of each other. This factually recognized the territorial integrity of two countries as set by the Shugolai Treaty of 1816. Though there had been the gradual shifting of borderline from 1 to 6 as shown in the figure 2 by the cartographic aggression in the northwest border of Nepal. The local residents had noticed a few tent camps of Indian border security force on the left bank of Lipu stream at Kalapani at around 1952. Till 1961, India's motive seemed to hold Lipulik Pass solely within the Indian Territory, Surveyor General of India, 1961, Survey of India, 1960. The Nepal-China Border Agreement Treaty of 1961 has marked number one pillar at the Tinker and Karnali watersheds. This had motivated India to push cartographically Nepal's border to a few kilometers southeast of Lipulek to the meeting point of watersheds of Karnali, Tinker and Lipu. See Figure 2, 7, Borderline 1 by Shugolai Treaty of 1816. The map published by the East India Company after the Treaty of Shugolai on January 2, 1816, is the medium-scale map, Figure 3, that showed the pictorial interpretation of the secret letter of Lord Moira in 1815, Cox, 1824. The secret letter states that, the eastern boundary will be the Kali which rises in the snowy mountains, and pursues nearly a direct southerly course to the plains, where it assumes the name of the Gorgra. The Kali forms a well-defined boundary from the snowy mountains to the plains, and though narrow, it is deep and rapid. The snowy range inclining towards the south reaches its extreme point in the direction where it touches the eastern confines of Kimaon. Hence this is the shortest and consequently the most defensible line of frontier. The mapping technology during that time was not as advanced as of today, so the demarcation of the location of the source of the uppermost river reaches of the main Kali River is shown inside the overshadowing area of snow and glaciers in the map. See figure 3 and 4. The Western Border River Kali, Article 5 of Shugolai Treaty, 1816 is now called as Mahakli in Nepal and Sarada in India. The map of 1819, figure 4, had clearly demarcated the headstream course of Kali as Kali after the river mentioned by the Shugolai Treaty. The river name was given on the base of the traditional name and information provided by the local residents. The map of 1819 and other maps published in 1827, 1834, 1835, 1837, 1846, 1848, 1850 and 1856 had marked the Kali to the river coming from Limpiadhari which had followed the main river principle as well. In addition, another supporting document to the maps was the letter of John Adams. 8. After the Shugolai Treaty, Bhutia's Aminders, the community leaders, of villages in Bayas Pargana of Kimaon wanted to retain three villages namely, Gunji, Nabi and Kuti, Cox. 1824, within Kumaon of the British territory. But, Bum Shah, the Chautarayu and officer responsible for the Doti district of Nepal, had sent an objection letter to the British regime claiming that those villages belonged to Nepal. In response, John Adams, the acting secretary, who had also served as acting governor general, Jan August 1823, of British India had confirmed that those three villages lie eastwards of Kali River and so belong to Nepal. On the 4th of February 1817, he sent an order letter to G.W. Trail, the commissioner of Kumaon to surrender those villages to the regime of Nepal with a copy letter of the same to Edward Gardner, the resident commissioner of British India in Kathmandu, Cox, 1824. But, it seemed that the Zaminders of Bias continued their efforts to persuade the company government which can be seen reflected on the map of 1819 prepared by Captain W. S. Webb, the officer, who was sent to Kimar on area for the barometric survey. Although, the map has shown the river Kali without marking the river course as the boundary between the two countries, figure 5. In addition, the manner in which the watershed areas of Lipu Stream and Kali, Kali were drawn, clearly showed the fictitious, Monmania, 1996, entry on the map to support to the company and Zaminder's interests to include said watersheds under the territory of Kumar on region, 9C figure 5. 
10. Borderline 2 Cartographic Manipulation From the maps published after 1819, one would see the gradual cartographic aggression to Nepal's territory. In the map of 1827, Soy, 1827, Horsburg, 1827, Borderline 2, Figure 2, is marked by an unnamed stream originating from the Kunlis Range. Figure 6, which was named as Terragad in the map of 1879. Figure 10. This river flows towards the south, confluences with the stream coming from the Lipulik Pass and then meets Kali at Gunji. Figure 6 and Figure 7. The international borderline was shifted from border 1 to border 2. The course of Taragad. This shifting encroached about 238 square kilometers of Kali's upstream and about 50 square kilometers of Lipu's watershed of Nepal. See figure 6 and 7. British India seemed to be attracted to Kuti, 3,800 meters above mean sea level, Nabi and Ganji villages, because they are the uppermost settlements that served as base camps for those wanting to cross to Tibet, routes to Adikota. Kailash and Parbati Kunda, Pond, and routes to Rakshis Lake in Tibet as well. Further, continuous requests of Bhutia as a minder of Kimar on to retain those villages within the Kimar on jurisdiction would have been also an additional motivating factor for borderline manipulation. Whatsoever, the river science perspective postulated by John Playfair in 1802, R. E. Horton in 1945, and Struller in 1964 and further defined by Busel, 1996 does not support to name Terragad stream as the uppermost reach of the main Kali River, Busel, 1996, 11, manipulation in the location of Lipulek, in 1846, the East India Company sent Henry Strachey and Richard Strachey to the Kimar on region for undertaking the survey of the region including routes to Tibet in a scientific manner. In 1848, Henry Strachey, Strachey, 1848, published a route map, figure 7, without naming Kali, Kali as in the earlier maps. He had used the 1827 and 1842 maps by Arrowsmith as the base map which had marked the borderline along the Terragad stream coming from Kunlis Peak. Strachey named the location of Lipulik Pass to about 11 kilometers east on a phantom location on the Kunlis Range, the source of Terragad River. In addition, he also fabricated that river flowing from Lanky Pudhara to name as Kali. Kali would not be in the interest of the British East India Company. 12. Borderline 3 Cartographic Manipulation British India became more aware of the importance of Lipulek Pass, as it is crossable to Tibet for purposes, like trade and transit, trek to pilgrim to Mount Kailash and Mansaro war in all seasons except the extreme snowfall days. The British rulers were aware of the report of Strachey brothers who surveyed the area during 1846-48 and published papers, which had indicated the importance of Lipulek Pass. The map prepared in 1848 importantly put legend of paths to Mansaro War Lake, Raksha's Lakes, and Mount Kailash, the map of Kimar on and British Gull, figure 8, was published in 1850 by the East India Company. Surveyor General of India, 1850. This map located, brought back, the Lipulek near to its real position and the borderline, borderline 3, figure 2, was drawn along the stream but without naming it as Lipul stream by including the Lipulek pass within the British territory. This map changed the borderline from Terragad River to the river coming from a Lipulek range. This is what Strachey brothers had visualized, because, of the different passes in the range, Lipu is the most accessible pass to Tibet in all seasons except during extreme weather. So very tactfully Lipulik Pass was included under the British territory. Interestingly, this map did not provide the name to the river flowing from Limpiadura. See figure 8. 13. Manipulation in the river names. After noting the Lipulik Pass to be a strategic location. British India got attracted to taking control over the Lipulik Pass of Nepal by legalization through cartographic conspiracy around the 1850s. The British ruler's intention to encroach Lipulik Pass by means of cartographic aggression, was fueled due to less technical knowledge on Nepal's side and due to less frequent surveillances, 
visits to that area by Nepalese authorities due to the remoteness. But during 1856-57, there was an uprising against the British rule in Calcutta, Lucknow and other places in India and with the support of the Nepalese soldiers led by Janga Bahadrana, the East India Company government succeeded in suppressing the Lucknow uprising. As a mark of gratitude, the British company government did not only adopt a policy of friendship but also returned the four districts Bank, Bardia, Kailali and Kanchanpur, known as Nyamul Nepal in 1860, the plain area between Kali to the west of Rapti taken by the company government in 1816, Rigme, 1958. However, the British India waited for an opportune time to detach the Lipulek from Nepal. All maps prepared and published earlier including the map of 1856, figure 9, had been demarcating the Kali up to its source at Limpiadhura snowy mountain range, British Survey of India, 1856. In all maps, Kali originates from Limpiadhura, flows to southeast direction up to Gunji and then flows towards the southerly direction. A tributary stream coming from the Lipulek side joins the Kali River at Gunji village. 14. See figure 9. 15. The cartographic manipulation. Figure 2, borderline 2, in encroaching Gunji, Nabi and Kuti area had ignored the Kali River course and the river science principle in defining the headstream of main Kali. And, Lipulek Pass was left under the Nepalese jurisdiction while considering the course of Teragad as the Nepal-British India borderline. Similarly, the cartographic aggression over Lipulek, figure 2, borderline 3, presumably following the Lipul stream course as borderline had also ignored the traditional Kali River and the river science principle in defining the main river. Therefore, British India applied conspiracy towards river names. Almost all the maps published before 1865 had clearly indicated Limpiadhuru as the source of the Kali, Kali River. Figure 9 The map published then after by the Surveyor General of India during 1865-77 changed the name of Kali, Kali River to Kuti Yangdai, which was suggested by Henry Strachey in his paper report and the river flowing from west of Lipulek was named Kyangdai, Bandari, 2015. The map of titled Nepal, Amara District, United Province published by the Surveyor General of India in 1879, figure 10, gave the name Kuti Yangtai to the traditional Kali River flowing, originating from Limpiadhara and the name Kali was given to the Lipukola, stream, flowing from Lipu range. With regard to the boundary with Nepal, the map neither follows the Kali, Kali river called as Kuti Yangdai nor follows the Lipu Kola fictitiously called as Kali. Rather, a small spout spring located at about 30 meters southwest of Kalapani on the left bank of Lipu river is shown to be the source of the Kali, Kali river, which is a kind of phantom attempt in legalizing the borderline shift. 16. See figure 10. 17. Borderline 4 Cartographic Manipulation The belief of the Hindu that the river Ganga originated from the Shiva's head is the pictorial interpretation that the main river comes from the top of the mountain on the farthest point. More than that, the main river at any confluence is distinguished from its length, its water volume, its watershed area and the number of tributaries to it. At the Ganges confluence, the uppermost reach of Kali, named as Kuti Yangdai, Yangdai, is about three times larger in the average water flows, about two and a half times longer in the main channel's length, three times larger in the watershed area, and has a greater number of stream orders. Noting the river science principle, later around the 1880s, British India had realized that a small stream either originating from Kunlas Range or Lipulik Range cannot be the uppermost reach of the main Kali River. Therefore, Another manipulation was created by the false interpretation in naming the border river reaches of Kali only up to the Gunji confluence, and to the north from Gunji confluence. The watershed divide lines were marked to be borderline. A map titled Tibet Nepal United Province published by the Surveyor General of India in 1881 showed three different shedding, one for India including the Kuti area, another for Nepal including Lipu area and the third one for Tibet, 
Figure 11, the map of 1881 and several maps printed onwards had been following the same explanation. Figure 12, A, B, C. It was done to mark the Kali as the border river up to the Gunji confluence and north from Gunji. The watershed divide line is the borderline, figure 2, borderline 4. The explanation by the Gazette of Armorer in 1911 had also justified this aggression by stating, the Kali on the east has its true source in the Kuti Yangtai which after the infall of the Kalapani River takes the name of Kali, upstate archives. 1911. The map published as the United Provinces, 19709. Imperial Gazetteer of India, 1909, is also found colored accordingly which encroaches about 238 square kilometers of Nepalese territory while the whole watershed of Lipu, Kalapani, was shown within Nepal. Such phantom interpretation prevailed up to around the 1920s until when maps of 1928-29 published which indicated the end of Nepal borderline as appeared in the 1879 map. Figure 10. C. Figure 11 and 12. A. B. C. 18. The map published in 1946 by the National Geographic Society of USA indicated the borderline towards Limpiadhura, figure 13 A, which almost coincides with the map dated the 14th of August 1947, when Pakistan was declared an independent state while ending the British rule over India. The map published by the CIA, America also showed borderline towards Limpiadhura, CIA. 1947. But the political map of India dated 1947, figure 13b, created confusion to mappers by demarcating the international borderline between Nepal and India as shown in the map of 1928-29. It may be noted that independent India in around 1950s seemed considering the international borderline up to the confluences of the stream, Teragad, originating from Kunlas range and the stream, Lipukola, originating from a Lipilek range, and then onwards the borderline was demarcated either following watershed divide lines of Lipu stream or along the course of a very small tributary stream towards the southerly direction to about 8 km and then towards east direction up to the point joining the Tinker watershed and Karnali watershed. Due to the smaller scale, the map published in 1961, figure 14, may either be interpreted see figure 13a, B. 19. C. Figure 14. 20. Borderline 5. Cartographic manipulation. The mapping technology in Nepal was far behind during the 1950s and Nepal lacked skilled cartographers. Nepal had not its own political map before the 1970s and has her map published in 1975. Nepal had been using maps prepared by the Surveyor General of India. Therefore, the map used by Nepal as the reference map during the border agreement between Nepal-China in 1961 was the Indian map which had fictitiously named as Kali to the Lipus Deem. This resulted in a further error from the Nepalese side. Figure 2, Borderline 5 even though Lipilek and Kalapani are shown within Nepal, Nepal blindly believed in the Indian maps that had named the Kali River to the Lipus Stream, Figure 15 which also created the illusion on the international border and the tri-country border point of Nepal, India and China. In fact, the tri-country border should fall at Limpiadhura Peak which lies about 53 km west from Olipilek as per the Shugolai Treaty. See Figure 15. 21. Borderline 6 Cartographic Manipulation it is said that India after being defeated in the war with China in 1962, strengthened her aggression over the northwest territory of Nepal. Figure 2, Borderline 6, further occupying almost 70% watershed area of Lipu stream, including Kalapani of Nepal. Figure 16i, 16 added motivating factor was the flat land of about 17 hectares of Kalapani. 3,700 meter umsl, situated on the left bank, that is eastern bank, of Lipu stream, lying at 10 kilometers west of Lipulik Pass to which India needed to camp her border security forces, troops to watch any activities from Tibet, China. To justify the encroachment, a spring spout on the left bank of Lipu stream at Kalapani, 
was again stressed to be the source of Kali and the temple of goddess Kali was also built to show as an added proof as in the map of 1879. 1928-29 which were prepared unilaterally by the British India. India has been insisting on the borderline of Kali river course up to the artificial source, Kalapani spring and Kali temple, and therefrom, the borderline is marked along the watershed divide line to the south up to the point where Tinka watershed meets, and then to the east up to the point where Tinka, Lipu and Karnali watersheds join, Imperial Gazetteer of India. 1931. The underlying motive to include Lipulik Pass as a trading point in the joint statement issued at the end of the visit of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Damodaras Modi to Beijing in 2015 was also further attempt to encroach the Lipulik Pass permanently. Moea, Government of India, 2015. It may be mentioned that Nathula, about 4,200 meter omsl, in Sikkim lies about 800 km to the east of Lipilek Pass and Shipkila, about 3,200 m Omsl, lies at 280 km to the west of Lipilek Pass. Thus, Lipilek Pass, about 5,100 m Omsl, is the nearest point from New Delhi to Hindu heartland of Lake Mansara War and Mount Kailash for pilgrimage purposes and more on as trading route. Further, in spite of Nepal's claim of her territory, the Kali River course and all lands to the east of Kali, India published her political map on the 2nd of November 2019, 8th edition, and 8th of November 2019, 9th edition, figure 16i, unilaterally by encroaching about 400 square kilometers of Nepal territory, Survey of India, 2019, see figure 16i, 2. 22. Ground reality of the territorial dispute, unilateral manipulations of the northwestern borderline in the Indian maps, the one after the another, were seen since 1827. However, Nepal had never left her claim of her territory to the east of Kali since 1816. Aged locals over that region reported that a few tent camps of the Indian border security force were seen at Kalapani in around 1952, a Tawal. 1960, Rigmi and Katri, 1973, Bohara, 2011, Bandari, 2015. Since 1962, after the defeat in the Indochina War, India had been extending its army camp and bunkers at both banks of Lipukola, Teragad stream despite the continuous objection from Nepal. Bear Arab Rizal, a 93 years old senior journalist of Nepal is a living officer in charge of the census of 1961 of that area who had included all settlements situated on the east of Kali including the three villages of Kuti, Nabi, and Gunji, Rizal, 2015. Old records of land ownership right in Kuti, Nabi and Gunji villages are available in the Land Administration Office of Doti District of Nepal which proves that the area up to Limpiadhura belongs to Nepal. Similarly, Bahadur Singh Aitwell, 1960, Madan Bandari, 1990, Prem Singh Dami, 1993, Lumsley, 1997, had made against the Indian encroachment of Limpiadhara Lipulika national issue. The reports of Peraz Watam Rigmi and Hari Prasad Katri of 1973, Rigmi and Katri, 1973, Report of Dwirakadhanjal of 1981. The letters of 1998 to the UN by the concerned citizens, including Haranyal Al Shrestha, and many others, have been continuously opposing Indian encroachment of the said areas. Bandari, 2015. It should be universally noted that unless the sovereign authorities, parliaments of both nations have approved the new border treaty, Unilateral cartographic encroachments cannot overwrite the borderline delineated by the Shugolai Treaty of 1816. 23. Discussions, Nepali people, in general, have been feeling bitter about the implementation of the water resources treaties signed with India, not to mention the border encroachment by India. Therefore, if it, India, respects moral values, 
if it intends to be a rising power and a nation in competition with countries like China, Japan and US in technology and economy and, more importantly, wants to be a good neighbor, it is the right time for India to withdraw its army camp from the Nepali territory, east of Limpiadhura to Kalapani Lipulek and respect the Nepali sovereignty to these areas. The international boundary treaties overwhelmingly follow the fixed boundary principle. A treaty on fixed boundary principle was also agreed between Nepal and East India Company on 16 January 1845. It was signed between Mathbar Singh Thapa, the Prime Minister of Nepal and Henry Montgomery Lance, the resident representative of East India Company in Kathmandu, Bandari, 2015. Unless and until there is any other border treaty signed between two respective highest government authorities that define Kalapani as the ending point of borderline by river courses, that is Kali River, any attempts in cartographic manipulation do not hold any legal validity in the case of northwest borderline of Nepal. Furthermore, if Nepal continues to keep some of her territorial areas outside in its official map, India will get excuses to keep on illegally occupying and encroaching her lands in the days to come. So, Nepal must withdraw her defective map and release the correct map with a white paper note on the basis of the provisions of the Shugolai Treaty. In addition, Nepal must show its vivid presence, appearances in the area by undertaking development activities focusing on local livelihoods, high altitude tourism facilities with access road and electricity. In addition, continuous moral pressure, be put on India to leave encroached areas, not only in the east of the Kali River but also in Sistu and other locations. 24. Conclusions. The letter of Lord Hastings, the Governor-General of British India to the Secret Committee had recommended in colonizing Kumar on and Gulf for getting easy access to Western Tibet for trade, but the borderline by Kali River by Shugolai Treaty 1816 left Kuti. Lipu and Dinka pass within Nepal. In 1817, in response to the petition by local Bhutia Zaminder to East India Company through Commissioner of Kumar on requesting to hold Kuti, Nabi and Ganji villages under the British regime, Acting Chief Secretary as authorized by the Governor General of British India Company had made clear that villages in question belong to Ghorka, Nepal, regime. When Strachey brothers found the Lipulik Pass the easiest and short route to the places of pilgrimage and for trading in western Tibet, the British regime craved over the Lipulik Pass. The intention of British to encroach a swap of land from Limpiadhara to Lipulik Pass by means of cartographic aggression, not by the war, was fueled partly because of less technical mapping knowledge on Nepal's side and of less frequent surveillances visits to that area by Nepalese authorities due to the remoteness. India, after the defeat of the Indochina War, has been considering Kalapani and Lipulek as the strategic locations to watch any security threats to India and so had been further strengthening the occupation. Lack of awareness, capacity and political instability is Nepal's diminutive role in defending her territorial integrity set by the Shugolai Treaty. In general, International boundary treaties overwhelmingly adopt the fixed boundary principle. Nepal and East India Company had the fixed boundary principle treaty signed on the 16th of January 1845. Still more, Nepal had never left the claim of her territory to the east of Kali since 1816. Therefore, the unilateral cartographic manipulations on the northwestern borderline in the Indian maps, one after the other since 1827 are against the spirit of the Shugolai Treaty 1816. Lipulik Pass is the relatively easiest path to the Hindu heartland of Lake Mansara War and Mount Kailash for pilgrimage tourism, an emerging trading route and still a strategic location for border security to India. Mention of the Lipulik Pass as a trade route in the joint statement between India and China during Prime Minister Modi's visit to China in 2015 and inclusion of Limpiadhara Kalapani Lipulik in the political map of Indian in 2019 challenges to Nepal as well as also an opportunity for Nepal to sort out the border issue with India, putting continuous moral pressure diplomatic over India would be the vital tool to get back all encroached areas, not only in the east of the Kali River but also in Sistu and other locations. 25. Data and Methodology, 
a. on the basis of historical facts, published documents, correspondences and several maps since 1815, b. relevant papers and articles published in the peer-reviewed, periodicals and newspapers are also reviewed, c. reviewed documents also include treaties and books as well, copies of authentic maps from 1816 onwards, the political boundary map published by the Survey of India and the administrative boundary of Nepal published by the Survey Department of Nepal were analyzed. D. Cartography includes the map making process and a map not properly designed is called the cartographic failure. E. Fictitious or fake entries on relevant historical maps are analytically interpreted. Interpretation of maps is also made with reference to the recent freely available Google Maps which helped to clarify the confusion arising in interpreting large-scale maps. f. Copies of original correspondences have been taken as authentic views of concerned authorities. g. The river science principle developed by John Playfair in 1802, R. E. Horton in 1945, and Strohler in 1964 and Busel in 1996. Busel, 1996, 1998 was also considered to define the source of the main river in question, that is Mahakle slash Sarada slash Kali river. H. Hydro submodular VRC is using 30 meter dem, Aster, NASA, 2010, is used to map the uppermost watershed of the Kali river with JIS software and the same map so produced is used as a base map to locate the borderline shifts. 26. See high resolution figures, 116, Page 2736. Thirty-seven. All these information was researched by Ant Media Online team by consulting various sources. This document contains information mainly from the article Evolution of Cartographic Aggression by India, a study of Limpiadhara to Lipilek by Jagat K. Busel, professional hydrologist, ex-chairman of ETFC. We have tried to present the information on source of the Kali River Limpiadhara, Lipilek and Kalapani in simpler form by collecting information from various split sources. We hope this would be helpful. Media Online. Peace. Smile.